Julian Castro is not running for president anymore, but he is still making campaign stops across the country, this time for Elizabeth Warren. He endorsed her after dropping out of the race himself, and the quick endorsement has a lot of people whispering. Is Castro really running a shadow campaign for vice president? Ross Ramsey is the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune in Austin for us, as always. Good morning to you, Ross. Good morning, Jason. How are you? Doing well. You know, Castro is campaigning pretty hard for Warren. Is he hoping to be a number two with her? I don't know what his aim is. I mean, it's always hard to tell, but this is what a vice presidential run looks like. You know, there's some speculation that he's been in the veep stakes for the whole time that he's been running for president. He never really caught on there, but he was an attractive candidate, uh, an attractive number two for some others. He might also be building a case for a Texas race in 2022. I think probably looking at the future now. Interesting. Let's talk about a story you guys had in the Trib uh, about the Rio Grande Valley and how the uh, one of the cities down there paid Enrique Iglesias almost a half million dollars. What's fascinating about this for this concert is that it took you guys so long to find out about it. Why, why weren't taxpayers told about this? Well, we're, we weren't the only ferrets on this thing. A lot of media organizations were looking for this. The city of McAllen hired Enrique Iglesias to be in a holiday parade, a one hour appearance. They paid $485,000 for it. But for years, nobody knew how much they paid or what the spe specifics of the contract were uh, because of a glitch in the state's open records laws. The legislature finally came through on their second try last year, got the law fixed. The law kicked in in January, and a couple of days later, the city attorney in McAllen popped out the contract. $485,000, wow. 20 to 30 staffers, big bucks. Yeah, big bucks. Good work if you can get it right. Back to you in a moment, Ross. Thank you.